Hogwarts Legacy 2 is expected to be the second game in the Hogwarts Legacy trilogy, and Warner Bros. Games CEO David Haddad teased a sequel for the game by saying, there are a series of other things they are working on set in the Hogwarts Legacy universe. Also, prominent leaker My Time to Shine Hello has also said that sources confirm that a Hogwarts Legacy sequel is in the works. And not only that, but Hogwarts Legacy is also set to be getting its own TV show adaptation, alongside the Harry Potter reboot TV show adaptation, which means the Hogwarts Legacy game and the Hogwarts Legacy TV show will likely be set in the Harry Potter TV show universe, rather than the Harry Potter movies. So now that we know that Hogwarts Legacy 2 is confirmed to be happening, what are we actually going to see in the title? Well, as Hogwarts Legacy was a passion project for its developers, and they really did care about getting every single detail right, it means that those developers will listen to fans. They've added highly requested features into the game post-launch to Hogwarts Legacy, and expect to do more in terms of adding new content into Hogwarts Legacy in 2024. Now, I don't expect them to add DLC content, but rather minor fixes and highly requested updates like changing the season anytime you want, and maybe a new game plus mode because it seems that these developers will now be working on Hogwarts Legacy 2. It's also very likely that this game's budget will be significantly higher as Hogwarts Legacy made $1 billion plus in revenue. So Hogwarts Legacy 2 will have a ton of new features from the previous game, and they will hopefully allow the developers to be as creative as they can. The first major change you can definitely expect from Hogwarts Legacy 1 is the fact that Hogwarts Legacy 2 will be developed in Unreal Engine 5 and have access to the brand new features of Unreal Engine 5.2 and 5.3 updates. You can also expect that the increased budget for Hogwarts Legacy 2 will most likely be used to develop the Quidditch portion of the game. This will also likely allow Hogwarts Legacy 2 to become a multiplayer game. Now, maybe not in terms of a co-op campaign, but rather having Quidditch matches with your created character versus someone else's. The Quidditch portion of the game will be a massive marketing point for Hogwarts Legacy 2. And I could already see it being shown off the most at a game's press conference when they debut the Hogwarts Legacy 2 gameplay trailer in around 4-5 years. Now, there's also the Harry Potter Quidditch Champions game, which is going to be released in early 2024. And if it is very successful upon its release or gain some momentum after release, I can definitely see in Quidditch not being a part of Hogwarts Legacy 2 due to the fact that Warner Bros. would want to market the Quidditch game and not have Hogwarts Legacy compete with it. However, the scale of the game will no doubtedly be a lot bigger than Hogwarts Legacy 1, which in my opinion, I didn't know that the game would be as big as it was. To have the whole outer regions area of Hogwarts be explorable was definitely a surprise to me. Locations that they could definitely add to Hogwarts Legacy 2 is the Platform 934, the Hogwarts Express, the Ministry of Magic, Diagon's Alley, and of course the possibility of adding a brand new school of witchcraft and wizardry into the game. And without a doubt, we're definitely going to be getting some brand new magic spells, and perhaps a further dive into forbidden magic. This is where I think Hogwarts Legacy 2 is absolutely going to shine in. Its story is, I believe, a massive attraction for Hogwarts Legacy 2 will definitely be giving the player a choice to truly become a Dark Wizard. This would make sense, as it would also allow Portkey Games to add some many new locations into the game that are synonymous with Dark Wizards. Not only that, but if Ancient Magic makes a return by having a continuation of Hogwarts Legacy 1's story, then our main player character will definitely have the potential of evolving that magic. This will also allow Portkey Games to develop some new features in regards to ancient magic. We also know that once Hogwarts Legacy was seen to be a massive success by Warner Brothers Games, there were rumors that Hogwarts Legacy 1 was actually set up to be the first in a trilogy of games. And the reason why our main player character was in the fifth year of Hogwarts Legacy is because Hogwarts Legacy 2 will be set in the sixth year and Hogwarts Legacy 3 will be set in the seventh year. Which likely means you can continue the story of your Hogwarts Legacy 1's character in Hogwarts Legacy 2 and 3. And also, with the increased budget and Unreal Engine 5 capabilities, expect a whole load of brand new customization options for your Hogwarts Legacy 2 character. We also know that Hogwarts Legacy 1 took five years to make with an estimated budget of $150 million. 
and it's likely we're developing brand new features for Hogwarts Legacy 2, like Quidditch, and moving over to Unreal Engine 5, and creating a brand new story with brand new companions, and developing brand new combat systems, and brand new magic systems that Hogwarts Legacy 2 will also take around five years to develop, which means it will likely come out on the PlayStation 6 and next Xbox console. And because it's likely to come out in the first year of PlayStation 6's release, it will likely be a multi-platform game for the PlayStation 5, PS5 Pro, PlayStation 6, Xbox Series X and S, the next-gen Xbox and PC. And also because Hogwarts Legacy did make its way onto Nintendo Switch, we can also expect Hogwarts Legacy 2 to likely be released on Nintendo Switch's next console. We also know that Xbox is developing a brand new controller that supports haptic feedback which means we will be experiencing Hogwarts Legacy with haptic feedback on both PlayStation 5, PlayStation 6, and the Xbox new console. We will be going more into depth with Hogwarts Legacy 2 and talking about some brand new features to expect and diving in more into the locations we can expect to find in Hogwarts Legacy 2 with brand new wizarding schools and much, much more.